Hi, this is Brian Smith. I'm the managing attorney here at Wedemar Keith, our disability practice. And today I'd like to tell you the difference in SSDI, which is so Social Security Disability Insurance Benefits, and SSI, which is Supplemental Security Income. So we got a difference in SSDI and SSI there, okay? So I wanna talk about first SSDI, Social Security Disability Insurance, okay? That is based on, or the eligibility is based on what someone has paid into the system over many years of working. Uh, you may see this on your paycheck. It'll state either FICA, F-I-C-A, or Social Security. FICA standing for Federal Inco Income Contributions Act. That is going to be what you pay into the system. 7.65% total comes out of your uh, individual's paycheck. Pays a little over 6% to Social Security side, a little over 1% to the Medicare side of things. And an individual burn, uh, use, over time gets work credits. They, they build those up. Uh, work credits are going to be something that Social Security keeps up with. An individual has to accrue 20 out, of 20 out of the last 40 quarter credits. That will be five out of the last 10 years to be eligible. There are different rules for younger workers, those who are under the age of 31. So that's going to be your SSDI benefits. Now your SSI benefits are going to be based not on work, but actually on current income and resources, not only for the claimant, but also their spouse. Okay. Income. Income would be gross monthly income that an individual has, not only from wages, uh, but also from any sort of pension they may receive, retirement benefits, uh, VA benefits. Just look at it as money is money. Okay. Then you've got resources. Uh, resources would be just anything that can be turned into cash or cash itself, such as money in an account, savings, checking, stocks, uh, bonds, uh, 401k, uh, anything that would be liquid cash an individual would have access to. And then as to other resources, real property. So if an individual has land they don't live on, that would be real property uh, that would be considered income. Or if they have a second home or uh, something as such as an RV can be considered uh, and resource as well as an extra vehicle. You usually get one vehicle. So, and then also you have to re realize that also you look at your spouse's income and resources as well. Uh, that is also configured in when we talk, start speaking about SSI benefits. So I wanted to take that time just to tell you the difference in SSI and S the SSDI benefits today. And if you've got any questions, reach out to us. 1-205-933-9500 is our office, as well as wkfirm.com. You can answer any questions you may have. If you've if you got some deeper questions into the matter, we'll continue to speak about it here. Thank you very much.